Game time, baby. Bigger than you, dude. Alrighty, guys, we're in a bit of a traffic pickle here. I am headed to Kentucky Lake. I've never fished it before, never seen it in my life. The tournament is the regional um, college open, so there's gonna be a whole bunch of teams there. It's a two day tournament, Friday, Saturday. I've got all my rods tied up already with what I think is gonna work, but still gotta talk to my, my partner, Mason, see what he through what he caught him on if he caught any i don't even know yet i got another four hours of driving left so i'll be i'll be catching up with you guys you guys will be seeing some driving footage i'm sure traffic starting to pick up a little bit we're moving a little bit more so i'll catch up with you guys next time i get gas or something yeah hopefully we can make something happen on kentucky lake maybe catch a kentucky giant who knows it'll be my first kentucky bass if i catch one who knows maybe we'll hop over to tennessee too so looking forward to it yeah so See ya. See you next time I catch up with you guys. Alrighty, just a couple hours left of the drive. Quick subway break. Don't normally get subbed, but there it is. I think we got a bunch of meat and some banana peppers, and that's about it. Apparently, my partner caught some fish today, so hopefully we have some good news for the tournament day. We are boat number 22. Up and early. Looking forward to it. I'll talk to you guys when I get to the hotel. Later. Game time. Game time, baby. UT Martin, 24. Morehead State. There's a nice fish. Fish number two. Get her in the wild well. That's a mess. I love it. That's All right, back to fishing. Oh. Toads. It's bigger than you, dude. I'll get out of the boat. Another short fish. Story of our lives today. My grip strength. Bowling Green. 101. 
from Illinois State. Just caught this fish on camera. <laughs> Freaking stud. Donkeys. Yeah, that's a fish though. Alrighty guys, so day two of Kentucky Lake turned out to be kind of a bust. Um, day one, our trolling motor started giving way. Uh, tried charging up the batteries really good the night before, day two but they would not, either the batteries didn't charge all the way for some reason or the trolling motor itself is broken. So, didn't really have a trolling motor on day two. We get, went back into like a little quarry that you probably saw and just tried to fish the walls for hours. Ended up only catching, well I caught four fish but they were all short and Mason put one in the live well and we just figured, we fished it so many times, we figured that wasn't a point in hanging around and then making a late six hour drive back to Columbus. So we brought our boat back up, threw in the towel, told Kevin Hunt from FLW that we weren't going to be finishing it and um, freed our one bass and now we're back heading back home. So going to get home around eight o'clock in Columbus and uh, yeah, pretty, kind of a bummer that we weren't able to make a good run out of day two but you know that's that's getting a boat it's all gonna be something's gonna break at some point and just so happened that today was the trolling motor and it was also windy so we couldn't do anything without a trolling motor decided it wasn't worth it and we'll be home shortly so hope you guys enjoyed the Kentucky Lake videos let me know if I should do more tournament vlogging more effective tournament vlogging. I know I didn't shoot a whole lot, but it's kind of a serious setting when you're in a tournament. You don't want to be worrying about the cameras as much, so maybe I'll take you guys along pre-fishing next time and get some really good, really good film going there. Let you guys know what's going on better. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll catch you on the water.